Hi everyone, welcome to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about built-in functions in Business Central AL programming language. So, let us first understand what are the two types of functions we have. Okay, before understanding the built-in functions, let us understand what are the two types of function. One is built-in function where the functions have its own meaning. Okay, for example, often we'll be using what message. Message is a function which is used to display some message to the user. So, this is a built-in function where it will display a message. The purpose of this particular function is already written while developing AL code. So, these are called as a built-in functions, whereas we have another type of function called user-defined functions, which we usually created using procedure. Okay, Usual, usually created using a T procedure snippet. Okay, so this is these are the two types of functions we have in Business Central. So now let us understand what is a built-in function. So as I told, built-in function is already written when while developing business uh, while developing uh, AL programming. Okay, so this is what all about the built-in function. So what it will do, it will reduce our uh, tedious work. Okay, if I wanted to display a message, I can simply go ahead and talk, call the message function. If I wanted to simply display an error, I can go ahead and use the error function. Okay, so there are various types of built-in functions we have. So one is an interaction method. So interaction methods like uh, uh, we have already discussed in the previous video while discussing about the try-cache method. So interaction functions which is used like a message, error, um error me error message and confirm dialog like that so these are the interactions method interaction method which we have in business central so next one is the string function so what is the string function when dealing with string what are the types of things which you may require like uppercase lowercase string position uh, index everything okay and the next one is the date function so date function which deals with all sort of date related uh, date related uh, uh, data type and next one is the numeric function which are completely related to numeric uh, data type like uh, absolute value um, power uh, like many there are various things okay so like uh, in numeric functions it will deals only with the type like round rounded value absolute power random randomized like that we have a lot and lot of numeric functions as well and next one is the array function which are the functions which are completely relevant to the array data type and next one is the list function uh, which is also which uh, these functions are related to the list type of data and uh, system functions which we are going to discuss today because it is completely about system related stuff okay and the eighth one is the variable function okay which is completely relevant to all the types of variables so interaction method which is a common one and string method which is related to string data type which is a text data type okay date function which is related to day today all relevant stuff and numeric function which is related to number data type which is a uh, integer array function related to array data type list related to list data type system function related to all the system related uh, system related functions like user id um, company name uh, user security ID, etc., etc., and finally comes to a variable function which is completely related to all the variables which we are assigning to. So, let us discuss about the system functions today. And if you wanted to learn about any other built in function like string, date, numeric function, array, whatever it may be, please leave a comment. Definitely, we will be discussing about it. So, today, we let us understand about the system function and system functions which are the type of functions that you can use out of the box so they aren't related to a certain data type or used for interaction you can find them throughout the system and you can use them in every trigger or procedure so these system functions you can use it in a trigger or a procedure okay so this is what the purpose of the system function so you should un you should know where you can use it okay you can use it in the triggers or procedures etc and what are the uh, various types of system functions we have user id which displays our user id company name is also there okay the third one is what today and fourth one is what time 
and fifth one is what the work date okay so we have all these things so how from where it will be fetched out and how it will be fetched out we'll be discussing about that as well so user id is what our user id from which id you are using you are executing this code the company name or the company name you are using what is it today's date and what is the time and what is the work date like when you started to work with this business central so let us see like how i have used it so i have i have created a page okay where i haven't used any fields it's a very very simple program you know to make you understand how it works okay so the first one is to display the user id i have already created a message in the so how we will be creating how will it will be displaying we can just see that okay if you click on the actions and click on the user id it is showing user id is gms so if you go down down you can see like message is what user id is and this percentage one is used to display the exact value and uh, in order why i am using double single quotes here double single quotes this is not a double quote okay this is a double single quotes and, and uh, closed with double single quotes why because i have started the label with a single quotes and i am going to end the label with a sin single quote in between if you are going to use any single quotes in between the single quotes uh, which is enclosed within a single quote for example i think i am confusing i can just tell you for example you have simply started uh, the label as user okay then uh, if you give any other single quotes it will assume that you are going to close this this opening uh, single quotes okay so in order to avoid that i am using double single quotes and double single quotes to close it okay so your mess user id is percentage 1 so now you have to understand from where this user id is fetched out nothing go to the search bar and uh, type user it will open the users data i don't think so like everyone can access this because you should have that um, uh, that uh, uh, access okay so you can see my user name here my name so if you click on this you can see my user id that is user name is gms that is what displaying over there and let's go to the next one the user security id so what is this user security id let us open here um let us go to the inspect help okay on the top you can see there is a question mark go to the help go to the help and support and scroll down click on the inspect pages where it will open the um page inspections okay so it will open the page inspection and show you like what is the security id you have okay i'm again opening it okay so here you can see the security id okay 6021 and all so let me go back to the 6021 it starts with 6021 just understand uh, just remember that let us search for system system functions okay so if you go to this user security id it is showing 6021 your complete security id and today it will show the today date okay you can just go here and open the today date 7/11/2023 and uh, today uh, work date what is the work date and what is the current time okay this shows the complete details about which is related to the system okay you can use the user id function to know who is running the code got it imagine that you are posting an order in the posting process and you want to keep track of who posted the order then you will be using the user id function and in the logical database you might have one or multiple companies if you wanted to figure out the company name then we will be using the company name as well okay so you can try these company property yeah company name is there no if you wanted to see the company name you can also see that company name as well so these are all the system properties you have and uh, today function is another date function that you can use to get the current date from the operating system the time functions also returns the current time from the operating system and with the work date what is the difference between the work date and the uh, today date or today is you can get or set the work date for the current session okay you can set it for the current session so these are the various system functions we have these are the built in functions if you have any queries please leave your queries in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you out and if you want me to discuss about the other any other built in functions please leave a message i will definitely help you out thank you for your support take care bye bye